As a seasoned observer of celebrity lifestyles and their multifaceted stories, few figures have captured the imagination like Faith Evans. From the height of his career as a famous R&B singer to the luxury of sprawling mansions and fleets of luxury cars, Evans embodies a rare combination of talent, success and dedication charming. In this exclusive exploration, we delve into the intricacies of Faith Evans' glamorous journey, uncovering the layers of her net worth, the career milestones, the extravagance that defines the lifestyle hers. All the details you need are right in this video. Let's dive in now. Faith Evans, a multifaceted American talent, has made her mark as a singer, songwriter, record producer, actress, and author. With a net worth of $3 million as of early 2024, she has navigated through the dynamic landscape of the entertainment industry with remarkable success. In 1994, Evans achieved a significant milestone by becoming the first female artist to sign with Bad Boy Entertainment under the mentorship of Puff Daddy. Her initial foray into the music scene yielded two albums that attained platinum certification, solidifying her position as a formidable force in the industry. Transitioning to Capitol Records in 2003, Evans continued her musical journey, culminating in the release of The First Lady in 2005. This album soared to the top of the Billboard R&B Hip Hop Albums chart, further cementing her prowess as a vocalist and songwriter. However, Evans' journey extends beyond her musical accomplishments. She is also widely recognized as the widow of the notorious big Christopher Wallace, whose tragic murder in 1997 shook the music world. In homage to her late husband, Evans collaborated with Puff Daddy and 112 to create the heartfelt tribute song, I'll Be Missing You, which earned her a Grammy Award in 1998. The song's resonance extended globally, topping charts not only in the United States but also in the UK, New Zealand, Australia, and the Netherlands. Throughout her career, Evans has released a total of seven studio albums and has sold over 12 million records worldwide, attesting to her enduring influence in the realm of music. Beyond her musical pursuits, Evans ventured into acting, making her debut in the 2000 film, Turn It Up. Furthermore, in 2008, she delved into the realm of literature, penning her autobiography titled, Keep the Faith, a memoir, which went on to win the 2009 African American Literature Award for Best Biography. Faith Evans was born on June 10, 1973, in Lakeland. Her upbringing was marked by a blend of musical influences and familial dynamics. Her African American mother, Helena Evans, was a professional singer, while her father, Richard Swain, whose European descent includes possible Italian heritage, was a musician who departed before Faith's birth, leaving behind a sense of mystery about her paternal lineage. Faith's early years were shaped by the nurturing care of her cousin Johnny May and husband Orville Kennedy, who served as adoptive parents to numerous children, including Faith. Though she initially resided with them, Faith later learned that they were her grandparents. Her mother's career hurdles prompted attempts to bring Faith back home, but she found solace and familiarity in her current environment, leading Helena to live nearby instead. Growing up in a Catholic household, Faith discovered her passion for singing at an early age, captivating congregations with her talent at Emmanuel Baptist Church in Newark. By the tender age of four, she was already drawing attention with her rendition of Let the Sunshine In by the Fifth Dimension. Throughout her schooling at University High School in Newark, Faith honed her skills, performing with jazz bands and participating in various competitions under the guidance of her mother, Helena. After graduating from high school in 1991, Faith embarked on a brief stint at Fordham University in New York City, where she pursued marketing studies. However, her journey took an unexpected turn when she welcomed her daughter China with music producer Kiyama Griffin, prompting her to leave university after a year. In 1993, Faith's path led her to Los Angeles, where she took on roles as a backup singer for artists like Al B. Shore. It was during this time that her exceptional talent caught the attention of music mogul Sean, Puff Daddy, Combs. Impressed by her vocal prowess and stage presence, Combs swiftly signed her as the flagship female artist to his record label, Bad Boy Entertainment in 1994. As a newly minted artist under Bad Boy Records, her trajectory skyrocketed when executive producer Sean, Puff Daddy, Combs invited her to lend her backing vocals and co-write tracks for Mary J. Blige's, My Life, 1994, and Usher's self-titled debut album, 1994. Her debut studio album, simply titled, Faith, marked a monumental milestone in her career. 
bursting onto the scene with soulful singles like You Used to Love Me and Soon As I Get Home. The album resonated deeply with audiences, eventually achieving platinum status with 1,500,000 copies sold. The success of Faith propelled her into the limelight, positioning her as a formidable presence on the R&B hip-hop albums chart. Where it peaked at number two, her sophomore effort, Keep the Faith, 1998, followed suit, reaching number six on the prestigious Billboard 200 chart, further solidifying her standing in the industry. Notably, her heartfelt tribute song to her late husband, I'll Be Missing You, dominated the Billboard Hot 100 chart for an impressive 11 weeks in 1997, a poignant testament to her enduring love and loss. Continuing her musical odyssey, Faith's third album under the Bad Boy label, titled Faithful, 2001, showcased her collaborative spirit, working with a diverse array of producers including the Neptunes and Mario Winans. Although it yielded moderately successful singles, the album attained platinum certification, underscoring her unwavering appeal to audiences worldwide. In 2004, Faith made a pivotal decision to part ways with Bad Boy Entertainment, seeking new horizons to nurture her creative vision. Embracing a fresh chapter with Capitol Records, she embarked on the creation of her fourth studio album. The First Lady, 2005, an endeavor marked by newfound autonomy and creative control. Collaborating with esteemed producers like Jermaine Dupri and Pharrell Williams, the album soared to new heights, peaking at number two on the Billboard 200 and clinching the top spot on the top R&B hip-hop albums chart. As her musical prowess continued to captivate audiences, Faith expanded her repertoire with the release of A Faithful Christmas in 2005, a heartwarming collection of holiday classics and original compositions. However, this marked her final release under Capitol Records, as the company underwent acquisition in 2007. After a five-year hiatus, Faith Evans embarked on a new chapter in her musical journey by establishing her own record label imprint in 2010. This venture, named Prolific Music Group, signaled a fresh start for the esteemed artist as she assembled a team of top talent to cultivate the label from the ground up. With a vision for innovation and creativity, Evans set out to redefine her sound and carve a distinct niche in the industry. Under the banner of Prolific Music Group, Evans embarked on a collaborative odyssey, recording tracks with acclaimed artists such as Keisha Cole, Redman, Snoop Dogg, and Raekwon. These collaborations laid the groundwork for the label's inaugural album, showcasing Evans' versatility and her ability to seamlessly blend genres. In a strategic move, Evans inked a deal with independent record label E1 Entertainment later that year solidifying her commitment to artistic freedom and autonomy. The release of her fifth studio album, Something About Faith, marked a triumphant return to the spotlight. Debuting on October 5, 2010, the album made waves in the United States, clinching the number 15 spot on the Billboard 200 and claiming the top position on the independent albums chart. The album's lead single, Gone Have, captivated audiences with its infectious rhythm and soulful lyrics, enjoying an impressive 33 weeks on the US Billboard Hot R&B Hip-Hop Songs chart. Peaking at number 22, the success of Something About Faith reaffirmed Evans' enduring appeal and solidified her status as a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. In 2012, Evans expanded her creative horizons by co-executive producing and starring in the TV One reality show, R&B Divas, Atlanta. Alongside fellow R&B luminaries Nietzsche Gilbert, Selena Johnson, Kiki Wyatt, and Monifa, Evans offered viewers a glimpse into the balancing act of music careers and personal lives. The show culminated in the production of the Evans-led compilation album, R&B Divas, Remember Whitney Houston, garnering widespread acclaim and spawning a successful spin-off series, R&B Divas, Los Angeles. Amidst her television endeavors, Evans remained steadfast in her musical pursuits, laying the groundwork for her sixth studio album, Incomparable, in August 2013. Collaborating with esteemed producers such as Chucky e. Thompson and Mike City, Evans embarked on a sonic journey marked by innovation and artistic exploration. The album's lead single, I Deserve It, featuring recurring collaborator Missy Elliott and supporter Shariah J, resonated with audiences, climbing to number 19 on Billboard's Adult R&B Songs chart. Released on November 24, 2014, Incomparable, debuted at number 27 on the US Top R&B Hip-Hop Albums Chart, further solidifying Evans' position as a trailblazing artist in the realm of contemporary R&B. 
Faith Evans' multifaceted talents extend beyond the realm of music, as she has ventured into various business projects and pursued a career in acting. With a diverse portfolio of roles, Evans has showcased her versatility and creativity on both the big and small screens. Other Projects In 2000, Evans made her silver screen debut in the musical film, Turn It Up, directed by Robert Attitui. Despite receiving mixed reviews from critics, the film, which featured Pros Michel, Jason Statham, and Ja Rule, garnered attention for its unique storyline and performances. Evans' portrayal in a supporting role marked the beginning of her journey in the world of acting. Despite the film's modest financial success, continuing her foray into acting, Evans starred in the MTV-produced romantic comedy, The Fighting Temptations, in 2003. Directed by Cuba Gooding Jr. and featuring Beyoncé Knowles, the film garnered attention at the box office, grossing over $30 million domestically. Evans' performance as a single mother and nightclub singer showcased her acting prowess, earning her recognition in the entertainment industry. In addition to her film roles, Evans has made guest appearances on television shows such as Half and Half 2004, Real Husbands of Hollywood 2015, and Marvel's Luke Cage 2018. Her appearances on the reality series Love and Hip Hop Atlanta further solidified her presence in the television landscape as both a regular cast member and a guest star. In November 2010, Evans' involvement in the upcoming biopic, Blondie, The Florence Ballard Story, generated considerable buzz. Set to portray Motown star Florence Ballard of the Supremes, Evans received praise for her commitment to the role. However, reports later surfaced indicating that the film project was a scam, leaving Evans and others associated with the project disappointed. Away from the spotlight, Evans delved into the world of literature with the release of her autobiography, Keep the Faith, a memoir, in August 2008. Co-written with Aaliyah S. King, the memoir offers readers insight into Evans' life and career, including her controversial relationship with her late husband, Notorious Big. Garnering critical acclaim, the book reached the top 20 on the New York bestseller list and received the 2009 African American Literature Award for Best Biography, Memoir. Affirming Evans' prowess as a storyteller and cultural icon, whether on stage, screen, or paper, her contributions to the arts continue to captivate audiences worldwide, solidifying her legacy as a true renaissance woman in the entertainment industry. Next, we invite you to explore her house now. Mansion in Brooklyn, New York Nestled at 159 Carlton Avenue in the vibrant neighborhood of Fort Greene, Brooklyn, stands a piece of history, a home once shared by Faith Evans, Biggie Smalls, and their daughter, China. Now, this iconic residence has undergone renovation and is up for sale at $1,700,000. Originally owned by Faith in 1994, this apartment served as a sanctuary for the family. Boasting two bedrooms and two bathrooms, it offers ample space for comfort and relaxation. Beyond the essentials, the residence features coveted amenities including a home office, laundry room, chef's kitchen, and dressing room, catering to modern lifestyles. The heart of the home lies in its living room, adorned with a wood-burning fireplace, a cozy retreat where cherished memories were shared and stories unfolded. With a total area spanning 1,701 square feet, the apartment embodies a harmonious blend of charm and functionality, reflecting the unique essence of its former occupants. My beloved audience, these aspects of her career and life speak volumes of her greatness. But she is not only a talented woman but also has an extremely kind heart. Philanthropy Faith Evans, known for her music prowess, is also deeply committed to making a positive impact through philanthropy. Over the years, she has channeled her time, energy, and resources into various charitable endeavors, especially those centered on children's well-being and education. One of the key organizations Faith actively supports is the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. This organization plays a crucial role in providing a safe and nurturing environment for young people across the nation. Faith has been vocal about the significance of education and has generously donated to fund after-school programs and initiatives that empower children to thrive. Moreover, Faith Evans extends her support to globally recognized organizations like UNICEF and Save the Children, which work tirelessly to enhance the lives of children worldwide. Her dedication to philanthropy transcends monetary contributions she actively engages her fanbase, raising awareness and encouraging others to participate in charitable causes. In 2014, 
Faith lent her support to Little Kids Rock, a commendable initiative aimed at enriching music education in public schools. By donating auction items, she helped raise funds to provide free musical instruments and rock lessons to children attending disadvantaged schools. This initiative opens doors to creative expression and fosters a love for music among young learners. Another noteworthy organization that Faith Evans champions is the Hip Hop Sisters Foundation, founded by the renowned MC Light. This nonprofit entity is dedicated to promoting positive representations of women from diverse backgrounds within the hip hop, entertainment, and business spheres. Through its various programs, including mentoring, financial empowerment, and educational opportunities, the Hip Hop Sisters Foundation extends support to women and youth on both local and global scales. Personal Life In the summer of 1994, a serendipitous encounter at a bad boy photo shoot brought together two rising stars in the music scene Faith Evans and Christopher. The Notorious Big, Wallace. Famously known as Notorious Big, within just eight days of meeting, they embarked on a whirlwind journey to matrimony. Their wedding, a spontaneous affair, unfolded on August 4 in Rockland County, New York. Faith, clad in a sleeveless white gown, stood beside her groom, who opted for jeans and Timberland boots, exuding an unconventional charm. Following the ceremony, the newlyweds celebrated with a humble dinner at a diner. Their path home was marked by a laid-back atmosphere, indulging in greasy fries and a sense of spontaneity captured in Faith's words in her book. Keep the Faith, reflecting on their unorthodox start, she shared, smoking weed on the way to our wedding and stopping for greasy fries on the way home, and we don't even have a plan. Indeed, theirs was far from a traditional beginning. At the tender ages of 21 and 22, Faith Evans and Notorious Big embarked on a journey filled with promise and uncertainty. Their union bore fruit with the birth of their son, Christopher George Latour Wallace Jr., born on October 29, 1996, yet their marital bliss was marred by challenges. Their marriage faced hurdles early on as the demands of their burgeoning careers kept them apart. Faith found solace in the confines of a Brooklyn studio, pouring her heart into her debut album, while Wallace embarked on extensive tours. Moreover, reports of infidelity cast shadows over their relationship, straining the bonds of trust and intimacy. In October of 1995, amidst the bustling music scene of Los Angeles, Faith Evans found herself presented with a unique opportunity, recording alongside Tupac Shakur. Tupac freshly released from prison and signed to Death Row Records, was embroiled in a bitter feud with New York's Bad Boy Records, the label to which Evans and her husband, Notorious B.I.G., belonged. Unaware of Tupac's affiliation with Death Row and his suspicions regarding her husband's involvement in a plot against him, Faith accepted the invitation with an open heart. Prior to the era of instant connectivity, rumors circulated more slowly, and Faith recalls her husband, Wallace, expressing fondness for Tupac despite the tension between their respective labels. It wasn't until she arrived at the studio and observed Death Row's presence that she began piecing together the political landscape. Tupac, working on his debut album, All Eyes on Me, which epitomized the gangster rap style, invited Faith to contribute to the track, Wonder Why They Call You. However, despite her efforts, her vocals never made it to the final album. The clash between Death Row and Bad Boy Records obstructed the collaboration, leaving Faith's contribution on the cutting room floor. In the aftermath of the recording session, Faith found herself in a perplexing situation. Tupac, in an unexpected turn of events, offered her a sum of $25,000, accompanied by an insulting proposal. Standing firm in her principles, Faith declined, refusing to compromise her integrity for financial gain. Tupac, however, persisted in claiming an intimate connection with Faith, alleging that Notorious Big had appropriated his lyrics and style, insinuating involvement with Faith. Tragically, Tupac's life was cut short in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas on September 13, 1996, leaving behind a legacy shrouded in mystery and conspiracy. Despite ongoing speculation, the circumstances surrounding his murder remain unresolved. Six months after Tupac Shakur's murder when Notorious Big was fatally shot in Los Angeles on March 9, 1997. By then, he and Faith Evans had separated due to Notorious Big's infidelity, including a year-long affair with rapper Lil' Kim. Both Wallace and Evans moved on to new relationships. But the public scrutiny surrounding their marriage left Evans feeling battered in the court of public opinion, as she detailed in her book, Keeping the Faith. Adding to the heartache, 
Faith Evans was in Los Angeles the night Wallace was murdered and even encountered him at a party earlier that evening. The devastating news of her husband's death came to her at Cedar sinai Medical Center, where she experienced waves of shock and disbelief. In her recollections, Evans described her reaction as a mixture of panic and quiet tears. Overwhelmed by the sudden loss of her spouse and the father of her newborn son. Just months prior to Wallace's death, Missy Elliott introduced Faith Evans to Todd Russell, a record company executive, sparking a new chapter in her life. Their relationship blossomed amid her estrangement from Wallace. Faith and Todd welcomed their first child together, Joshua, on June 10, 1998, and subsequently tied the knot later that summer. Their family grew with the arrival of their second son, Ryder. On March 22, 2007, in January 2004, Faith Evans and Todd Russell encountered legal troubles of their own when they were stopped for improper tag violations in Atlanta, Georgia. Subsequently, they were arrested and charged with possession of marijuana and cocaine. In an effort to resolve the charges, they agreed to complete a 13-week drug treatment program. In July 2005, a legal battle seeking justice for the murder of Notorious Big faced a setback when a wrongful death lawsuit against the Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, collapsed. Faith Evans and Wallace's mother, Valletta, filed the lawsuit in 2002, alleging LAPD's intentional concealment of evidence connecting rogue police officers to the murder. However, the case was dismissed by federal judge Florence Marie Cooper due to mishandling. Despite efforts to revive the lawsuit with new evidence in 2007, another federal judge, Jacqueline Wynn, dismissed it in April 2010. However, the troubles did not end there. In August 2010, Faith Evans faced another legal issue when she was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving at a checkpoint in Marina del Rey, California. These incidents added strain to her personal life, and in 2011, Faith filed for divorce from Todd Russell. The couple agreed to undergo a 13-week drug treatment program to halt further prosecution of their drug possession case. In May 2011, Faith Evans and Todd Russell made public their decision to divorce, expressing a desire to keep the matter private for the well-being of their children. Despite facing legal challenges and personal turmoil, Faith Evans remained resilient, navigating through adversity with determination and grace. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.